all right hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we're going to look at composition of functions so composition of functions is uh, a concept that talks about when you have two functions where one is when the domain of one is the range of the other look at what we're saying pictorially if we have a set x here and another set here y and another set z so and function f takes elements from x to z to y while uh, function g takes elements from y to z so the composition of these two functions is that other function that will move directly from x to z without touching y so assuming that this function is h there is a relationship between this h and g uh, sorry f and g and that is what we say that that h is called that is called f composition what g and it's written this way and this like we stated here is actually the same thing as implication of this is assuming you have uh, maybe three compositions f composition g composition h this is the same thing as f of g of h and of course you know that each of these are functions of x according to our definition here so whenever you are asked to take composition this is invariably what it means and so all of these just stands as uh, the normal evaluation of functions which we have done and that is the approach you will use in taking the composition of functions you will need to check the video on evaluation of functions if you have not okay so let's look at examples okay so the first example here says suppose we have three functions f g and h moving from r to r that means the domain is r real numbers and the range is also r okay so that's codomain and so we are asked I, if the functions are defined like this that means f of x is x squared g of x is this and h of x we should find f composition g okay solution okay so we are looking for the first one is f composition g and i said that f composition g is the same thing as f of g of x okay so what is then so the implication of this is that wherever i see x first of all i will need to state my f of x so but my f of x is equal to x squared that's what is given and so if f of x is x squared so this now implies that f of g of x so you can see here that my g of x is now replacing my x in f okay so by evaluation of functions so anywhere i now see x in the function i should remove it and replace it with g of x so this is going to give me g of x all squared and so going back to the question what is our g of x our g of x is this so that means our f of g of x will be 2x plus 5 all squared and then if you square this we are then going to have 4x squared it will be good you do this expansion clearly so that you can see all of these solutions and so this is the solution for f of g or what you can also call f composition g so b says f composition h and that is equal to f of h of x and what is our f of x we know our f of x is uh, x squared so uh, we can do that f of x is x squared so that means f of uh, h of x will simply be h of x all squared and what is h of x h of x is sine x okay so you will square this and when you do you will simply get sine squared x and that's the solution so i will allow you do the c but let's do the d now why are we doing this d d is the direct uh, like turning inverse of this this is this one is f composition g and this is g composition we want to see yeah, are they going to give us the same solution if we turn it that way so we're looking for g composition f and that's equals to g of f of x 
and so uh, meanwhile what is our g of x our g of x is equal to is giving us uh, 2x plus 5 and now we are looking for g of f of x meaning we are replacing f of our x with f of x so this is going to be 2 times f of x plus 5 and what is f of x our f of x is simply x squared so it will be 2 times x squared sorry plus 5 and that will give us 2x squared plus 5 as our solution right so and that's and from here you can see that g composition f is not the same as uh, f composition g so they are not the same always take note of that okay so what it means is that commutativity is not uh, allowed under composition of functions so a composition of function as um, a, a binary operation is not commutative okay all right so let's look at the second example we have here example 2 says define also three functions are defined f of x is this g of x is this and h of x and we are asked to find uh, these compositions okay now the a part is trying to teach us that it is possible to take the composition of a function on itself so we can have g composition g and that's simply equal to g of g of x so um and from what we have here meanwhile our g of x alone is equal to what now x plus 2 so if g of x is x plus 2 then g of g of x in this case we are replacing x with g of x so anywhere we see x here we will simply replace it with g of x so our x here will now turn to g of x plus 2 and so we'll now finally substitute g of x and what's the value of g of x g of x is still x plus 2 then we we'll now have plus another 2 and that's going to give us x plus 4 as uh, the solution for g composite g and then finally we'll now take an example that will give us the composition of three functions at a go so let's look at that we have f composition g uh, composition h uh, and we said that this is equal to f of g of h okay so we need to get the value of g composition h so that we can substitute it here so this is what we are looking for but our g of x is equal to x plus 2 so anywhere we see x now we remove it and put h so that we can get g composition h so our x is here so while our h is cos x so we replace this with cos x and that is plus 2 so this is our g composition h and so going back then to this it then means that our f of g of h is then going to be what we are looking for now but meanwhile our f of x is equal to look at it here absolute value of x so that means this is going to be equal to anywhere we now see x our x is being replaced by g of h so we are going to look for g of h and use it to replace this x here and so that's going to give us cos x plus 2 the absolute value of cos x plus 2 and that's the solution to the problem we are looking for which is for this and that's where we are going to uh, stop for this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel for more content and we'll do more examples on functions um, like comment and share our youtube videos we'll see you in our next video bye